Okay, so I've got this old phone handset that I've been saving for a while for sort of a rainy day project. And I thought with all of the COVID-19, you know, online meetings that we're all having, this might be a fun time to try to wire this up with a 3.5 millimeter jack that could go into a computer or something. So I thought I'd just make a video about how to do that. Tools you're gonna need that'll be useful would be this sort of hands-free thing. It's a, a soldering iron and some, some fine solder. Tweezers are probably helpful, and uh, a continuity meter. This one's a really cheap uh, one from General Electric. It'll help you figure out what wires go where. So for example, these old headsets, you can just unscrew them, and here's the speaker. And you can already see that there's a green wire here and a green wire there. So there's a safe bet that that's going to be our speaker wire, but you can actually check with the, with the continuity meter. Um, so if we clip this onto the green wire, press it here, it's probably not visible on the video, but the light is faintly on. So, you know, this indicates that the green wire is indeed our, our speaker. And I've already kind of gone through and worked out that the, uh, the yellow wire goes to the mic and that the red and the black are our grounds. You could also potentially look this up online, but it's best to just sort of check for yourself with the continuity meter. Um, that way, just in case you have a weird headset, uh, you know it's gonna work. You know, and you can get these anywhere thrift shops. I don't remember honestly where I got this. I've been saving it for a really long time. Okay, and then you're going to need to get one of these 3.5 millimeter jacks. I ordered these off Amazon. It actually came in a pack of like six different colors. I thought the orange was the closest to this, and that might look good. Just unscrews. Um, you know, they're a couple of dollars each. So generally, they'll order on these uh, four pulled jacks, the ones with, with microphones, is uh, left, right audio, the ground, and then the microphone. And so when you look at the top here, it'll be uh, left, right, ground, and then the microphone goes into uh, the sort of cable guide. And so we go ahead and start soldering that up. Okay, so one thing you definitely want to do is make sure that you put this cap on, otherwise you won't be able to do it later. So put all the wires through. There we go. So that way I can put this back on later. All right, so now I'm gonna solder this on. Remember the, the green on mine is the mic. So we're just gonna a hold of this. Sorry, the green is the speaker. And what I'm going to try to do is solder it across the left and right. Since there's only one speaker, we don't need stereo sound. So it sort of creates a jumper between left and right. Okay, the next one is the microphone, which for me was yellow. It's a bit tricky to get in here. But... I did it. Okay, and then the last two are the ground, which for me was basically the leftover wires, black and, and red. So I'm going to try to twist those together. These old telephone wires are very strange wires. They're very delicate. They seem to like to break a lot. All right, and there we go. So now I'm just gonna try to hold the wires in place with this wire holder, which I think is gonna be kind of important because this is all very delicate and should be able to work the cover back on without breaking any of my soldering would be nice.
there you go. It's a headphone jack on the end of the phone. And so, if I plug this into my phone, I need one of these funny fingers. But... We can try and see if this works. Well, hello there. So, I, uh, I'm now recording this through the microphone that you just watched me uh, solder up. The, the speaker works too, if you want to listen to music or something. So you can basically have a phone conversation on your smartphone through an old school headset for who knows what reason. Um, this was just sort of a silly, I wonder if I can do this project. I don't actually think that this is a particularly useful thing to do, but you know, maybe you've got a hipster friend out there that wants to talk uh, on like this on their smartphone. So um, yeah, so on my channel, I just do random DIY things. I started filming myself. Um, sometimes the videos are useful. Sometimes they're silly like this one. So if you like this video, you know, consider sharing it, consider subscribing to the channel. That helps me sort of know whether or not I should keep up these silly videos or, or what kinds of stuff you guys like. So let me know if you tried this. Um, let me know what you think of it. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.